reminds me, I, I promised Catherine that I'd ask her help on a small favor, which I think you'll like, because it involves the court of Maine. I need a name, which I have no doubt you can supply. I figured this would be right up your alley. An old alley, but some contacts are useful to maintain. Good luck. You too. Let me know when you come up with a plan on how to contain that. Better you know the details. Yeah, well, you keep going off on your own switch and informing me later. I don't like it. I'm informing you now. Yeah, but this has the potential to disrupt our very lucrative business arrangement. I told you. The cops and Scorpio can nose around all they want. I have it under control. So you keep saying. Then why make me keep saying it? Have a little faith. I didn't get here on faith. No, no. You had your inheritance and me. Don't sweat it. again without really meaning it. Yeah, I know. You do? I just saw Robin. They say my eyes are gonna go. There's nothing they can do to stop it. I can't breathe, man. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I do. That's exactly what's so unfair about this thing. Forget about what it's doing to me. Look at you, man, and look at Rob, and you didn't ask for this thing. How did you? No, but it was my mistake, and you guys didn't make any. But here you are, just the same, taking on my illness, doing everything for me. What have I done except sit in my butt and watch you deal? Oh, man, you're my friend, and you're paying me, footing all the bills here. It's just cash. Cash is important to someone in my position, man. This AIDS thing is expensive. I mean, from the hospital stays to the tests to the drug fees to the doctor bills. I mean, how much is this costing you, man? I can't believe it. You're, you're, you're in the hospital, worried about my bank account. What does it matter how much money I'm spending? Sonny, this thing's going to kill me no matter how much money you throw at it. So why should you end up broke on top of everything else? That's not going to happen. Hello? Oh, what do you got? Mattress is stuffed with cash or something? Uh, I got enough. When did you become Mr. Big Bucks? When you weren't looking. <laughs> Good too much, man. Besides, you know, hey, paying for your medical bills makes me feel like I'm doing something. Otherwise, I'm like, I can dig it. <clears throat> Good, so you're not going to worry about it. If you say I shouldn't worry, then I won't worry. Moving on. I was thinking about getting another place. Something bigger, something classier. <laughs> you can imagine that. Why? Why? It's time. <laughs> okay. I just had this image of you all white-haired and stupid, <laughs> picking up this pasta dinner in that old tired kitchen. <laughs> Well, forget that. <laughs> but listen, there's, <clears throat> there's another reason. If Ashton and Scorpio have their way, which there's no reason why they won't, the cops are going to be hassling me on a regular basis. And it's not fair to put Luke in the middle of that because I live on the premises. He's got enough problems of his own. So, I figure we spread out a little, right? Maybe get a den, big screen television. I think that's great, man, for everything that you just said. And it would get you out of that space that you shared with Brenda. Pumping into all those memories every time you walk into a room must be a drag. How'd you figure that? <laughs> I think about stuff. Well, think about this. As much as we're both down for the idea, maybe it's not a good time to move. How so? 
Well, moving is disruptive, stressful. You'd have to get used to a whole new place. You mean before I go blind? Yeah, that's what I mean. I don't think that should stop us. I don't think anything should stop us from doing exactly what we want to do. If we start letting AIDS bring us to a standstill, that means it's one. And as long as I'm breathing, this thing doesn't get to win. I can't argue with that. Yeah, plus maybe we'll have room for a C&I dog. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dog. And I know there's really nothing I can do. Except say, I'm sorry all this is coming down on you. <sighs> which, is, which is totally lame and ineffectual. But I, I just want to come over and say it anyway. I appreciate that, Jason. We both do. Well, uh, for what it's worth, I've been reading about some very promising therapies for CMV recently. Really? I didn't know there's anything we can do. There isn't. <laughs> it's true. There's all this stuff out there for CMV for AIDS. But I can't get my hands on any of it because they're in some kind of trial phase where they haven't been approved yet. I mean, it's ridiculous, actually. Here I am diagnosed with a terminal illness, but before I'm going to die, I'm going to go blind. And there might be something out there that can stop me from losing my eyesight, but I can't get my hands on it because they need to test it for another 10 to 20 years. Well, now, see, what's the worst thing that can happen if I take an unsanctioned drug? I go blind and die. <laughs> Believe it or not, that was supposed to be funny. <laughs> Some comedian. Uh, wait, I, um, I, have to, I have to speak up for the other side here, Stone. If, if you were to end up spending unproductive time on, on an untested drug that didn't work, you'd lose ground by being unavailable for proven therapies. What proven therapies? And shouldn't that be my decision? I mean, it's my time we're running out of, and if I want to play lab rat, I might wind up in a maze, but at least I'll be running. How's Stone? I'm set. Right. I don't know how to deal with it, Luke. Powerless. I mean, this virus, it's like a... You can't even see it, man. It's like a... A coward. Hiding in the shadows, waiting to do all this damage. You can't grab it. You can't kick it. You can't shoot it. You just... You, you gotta wait, man. You gotta wait till it's done. It's not fair. Is there anything I can do for either one of you? No, man, but thanks for uh, the offer. Anyway, I wanted to uh, <clears throat> apologize. You and Laura didn't have to be pulled into this mess I had with Ashton. Well, you know, uh, yeah. the timing could have been better. Was she mad? Oh, yeah. She's mad, particularly when she found out the details around that tape. Mm, I know, man. That's why you should have let me have a piece of that smug little crap. Hey, I taking him by the floor. Listen, nothing would please me more. Do it, but don't do it out here. Don't do it in front of the club. Now, the bell has already been rung. We can't unring it. So, looks like once again your fight is my fight, partner. You want me to maybe go to law and try to clear things up? No. Uh, no, not right now. Thanks. Uh, Don't go anywhere near Laura. Believe me, right now you could only make it worse. Well, here I am, back at square one, being powerless. Well, don't beat yourself up about it. My troubles with my wife haven't changed. We're stuck in this rut. She thinks my lifestyle is a danger to our safety, and I don't, so... Now, you, my friend, you got some big trouble coming your way unless you can make a move fast to contain Ashton. 
He's resourceful. He's got a lot of resources. He's out for blood, and he ain't gonna take his toys and toddle off. I don't give a damn about his resources. I got resources. That little peon Ashton is gonna get off my back. Make book on it. Thank you.